Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA, and today we are here with Brian shooting what is definitely the most patinaed vehicle we have ever had by far on the channel. But at first glance, if you're blowing it off thinking this is just a patinaed pile of crap, you're gonna miss out on a great video, so stick with us here. All right, so you said it's a 73 square body C10. Yes. And you bought it in Bakersfield. Found somebody, put a, an ad out. Okay. Uh, reached out to her, went up there, and it was a whole field full of a shitter. Her father had been collecting them, he passed away. And this was the, the first one, I, you know, it was already almost 100 degrees at 10 in the morning. Right. And so I was like, let's just get this one and let's go. Let's and there were other here, ones man. that had, you know, better color, you know, they had, you know, power this, power that, but this was the first one. I said, yeah. this is the one, let's get it out of here. Okay. And you said, the way we see it as far as the patina goes, this is how you bought it. You've never done a thing to... Yes. Well, recently I, I just, we just did a little bit of body work on it and this okay. is here. But other than that, this past Monday was the first time we ever washed it, even from when I had it. I mean, there was moldy water coming out of the, out of the towels. <laughs> yeah. So that was the first time. So let's dig into yeah, it. But why don't we pop the hood and see what you got going here? Cause I'm excited about this. Dude, I can't believe it. So it's a 5.3. Okay. It's an LM7, went 30 over. And then it's a 76 millimeter. Turbonetics names their turbos and it's Vanessa. Oh, really? So you can just go on Vanessa and that's the one. I didn't know they do yeah. that. That's kind of cool. All right. Wow, so so what kind of power do you make with this? So we just did a street tune. Yep. And from what the tuner said, it's about 550 to the wheels. Wow. Ported heads, stage two truck cam, because uh, the main goal of this truck was to tow a 68 Camaro that I have. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Great tow vehicle. Yeah, man. so I'd be that jerk that shows up with this, pulling that truck. Towing yeah. and smoking tires. Exactly. Yeah. So what have you done? Suspension? Is it chassis? Anything so, done? So or? the chassis has not been touched. It's just been painted. And then basically took everything off and did all right tech suspension. So everything is their, their air ride system from upper Got lower it. control arms or spindles, uh, four link in the back, the bags, everything is uh, right tech. We asked you to right. go ahead and drop it while we're shooting right That's now. That's correct. And it's all operated by it's, your yeah, phone? Yeah, it's all on my phone. Uh, right tech has a, a system, I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but yeah, you, you download, it's an app, and you yeah. can just press on your phone and you can, so cool. you can control it all from, as you're driving, I can control it before or after, you can bring it up and down. Awesome. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, I install these, so the, um, I, I don't know. I noticed the vents and, yeah. and, and I noticed that they're facing different directions. Correct. So the company is called Trackspec Motorsports. Okay. They make vents for the truck. And if I close the hood here, you know, as you know, turbos create a lot of heat. For sure. So we wanted to get a lot of the heat out, but then also they like cold air. So yep. my, I guess my idea was let's get one side where the heat comes out. And then on this side, let's get where cold air is going the turbo's in out. and it feeds right into the turbo. Great. And then when you're at idle, you could actually see the heat coming out from this vent here. Really? Yeah. Wow, yeah. really cool idea. And it actually, it looks really neat. It definitely makes you look and go, okay, that's not just a square body. Correct, correct. Yeah, it, it definitely went from the, the day before I put it in and when I put it on, like, it completely changed the look of the, the truck. Big time. And then from there, I was like, okay, let's paint the grill black. Let's do this, let's do that, just to kind of give it accents, you know? Yeah. Like, what wheels did you go with? So this? these are US mags. I think the name is, they're Ramblers. Okay. And they're just 20 by, Eight and a half and 20 by nine and a half. Okay. But you did brakes with it as well. What What are you running for brakes here? So these are the four piston CPP brakes. Okay. Yep. Sure. So we did that. Sure. And then the back are just the drum. Oh, we really? Just you stayed drum We just stayed there. drum, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, is that something, is that one of those things where when you've got some money put aside, you'll go, or do you want, or are you cool you know with what, the drums? I'm cool. I mean, the car is manual steering, manual brakes. Oh, and it I is. haven't been in a, in a situation where I've, you know, obviously I, ha, you know, I try to keep myself out of the situations, but sure. I mean, it's been fine. Okay. You know, and again, you oh, know, dude, maybe, I, and I'm not knocking it. Trust no, no, me. I, I'm, no, I understand. I'm cool with it. You um, know? Yeah, just it's just one of those things. Like when I get to it, I, yeah, I just want to enjoy the truck, have fun, get out there. You know. I mean, shit, you could even see there's dirt in the bed. So I've yeah. fallen dirt, you know, so I use the truck. It's not like it's just sitting in the driveway. It's, I, you know, there's pieces of metal back there. I think I drank a Gatorade, threw it in the back, you know, so it's, it's I'm being, I'm using, I drive to work in this truck. Do you really? Oh, is yeah. this what you daily drive? This, this isn't a, this isn't a daily, but it, you know, sometimes I'll just. But you'll uh, use it regularly. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's so cool. I love yeah. it, man. Now, what have you done exhaust on here? So it's just three inch from the, the turbo down all the way to the back. The the exhaust, it hasn't, it's not done yet. We just kind of just dumped it. And then this week I was able to put a cutoff on it so I can open it. I can control it from the, the nice. truck, you know, 
show up somewhere, you want to have some fun, let it breathe a little bit. For sure. Open it up, and then you want to, you know, get a little bit miles on it. Money, you, don't... you just want to be on the freeway. Just I hear you, dude. It's just because when you turn it on, you would never. If I had it closed, it's just a truck. It's really? Just a, it's just a smooth, like, oh, it sounds nice. Yeah. You know, and, and if you're looking for it, I've had people where I'm driving and they see the intercool in the front and they're like, what's going on? Like, here? What, like that's yeah. the intercooler. But it's yeah. only, I, I can I probably count two people have done that. Interesting. And again, it's because they see the two, and people just, they just walk by it. You know, it, it's very yeah. unassuming. But again, now when I, so. op- when I open up, the, now you can hear the turbo a little bit more. It's a little bit louder. Yeah. A little bit more rowdy. I know there's people saying, oh, it's rowdy now. But yeah, it's, it's yeah. a little bit more rowdy. So now have you done, I'm just curious. I haven't even looked at your interior right. yet. So this is like your bone stock in here. Yes. Other than the, than the gauges. The gauges are, oh, those Dakota, are Dakota Digital. digital. Yeah, yeah, Dakota Digital gauges. But other than that, everything is stock. Uh, <laughs> so just very basic. Everything else, man, like your door yeah. panels. Is this the, the original, original seat? seat? Well, this is the seat that I got and it was just filthy with dirt. I remember the day we got it, we pulled it into one of those spray washes and literally just sprayed the, the inside, whole The whole, whole inside. Truck. You're like, <laughs> spray it, everything. You said you're pretty sure you're the only square body that's bagged and turboed. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I looked around and scoured it, uh, Instagram, looked around and it either trucks have they have LS Turbo or they're on bags, but I think I'm the only. This is the only truck that has both. Okay. You know, again, they have okay. nice paint jobs and it's you know a big big build truck, but I, I think you. this is the only one that has those coupled in the same truck. Okay. So bring it on with the comments. Yeah, but let I'm me know. I'm telling you, if there's one out there, you got to give me evidence. Don't just tell me, oh, I saw one last week at a Cars and Coffee. I need evidence, or else don't make the comment. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so let's go drive it. Let's dude. do let's it. Let's go check out what this thing's about. All right, let's do it. All right, you guys, before we go for a drive, we've got merch, atlamerch.com. We've got really cool shirts, hats, stickers, and I absolutely love our keychains. Now, let's go for a drive. Now, you said your your buddy Oscar did all the work on this for you? All the work, he did everything in the backyard, no shop, with jacks, and he built those wooden, you know, uh, stands that he can stack it up. He did everything, all the turbo, piping, everything. He did it all. Wow. <laughs> it's so funny. Nobody has any idea yeah. other than, oh, cool, yeah. he lowered it. Yep. He put some wheels put on some it. Rims, yeah. <laughs> now, do you say rims or wheels? I call them wheels. I call the, the thing you dunk a basketball in a rim. As you know, if you wanted to, you know, make more power with it, you got it right there. I mean, dial up the boost. You might have to build a few things around it, but it sounds like you've got a motor that's built to handle it. Yeah, it's got the motor. If I just, I just need uh, bigger injectors, a bigger, uh, bigger fuel pump. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, it's. it's but what it's did you say you make right now on conservative boost? Uh, 550 to the wheels. So you're making 550 at the wheels, and you're running five pounds of boost. Yeah, or like, like six and a half, six and a half. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, I know some of you guys are gonna disagree with me, but let's be honest here. Do you need more than 550 at the tire? No. wondering what he's talking about <laughs> here's his stereo or here's his speaker right, system, my system. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. all right you guys that is it for our shoot 
of Brian's completely cool, ultimately patinaed, badass C10 square body truck. I, I just dig this thing, man. I love that this guy has built a truck on a budget, so has put little attention to how it looks and a lot of attention on how it drives, how it rides, how it runs. Absolutely cool. And I'd imagine over time, he'll just keep adding on to it. But what a cool guy, what a cool truck. Really, really stoked to have met him, man. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode because as always, I did have a blast. So thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.